what's up? Week 14's picks coming at you. I got $152.43. I have to bet my entire bankroll every week on the NFL until the end of the season. Then I walk away with what I win. Right now, my name's Silvestri, and I'm putting my money where my mouth is. All right, here's what we got for today's show. We're going to do a super quick recap of the picks from last week. Reach out to the kid for his picks for week 14. Check out my picks for week 14. Get the stat man to drop some nuggets and knowledge on us, and then say goodbye till next time. So let's talk about what the kid did last week. The kid took the Bears minus three. That was a loss uh, as the Lions got a fumble late in the game, turned it into a touchdown for the victory. Uh, also, he took the Rams minus three, but the Rams beat the Cardinals. That was a nice win for the kid. So the kid won one on the week, 10 and 11 on the year, hovering right around 500, uh, doing what he can. Now let's go over my stuff, and there is a lot, so I'm going to fly. Here we go. Patriots minus one was a hit. Bills minus one was a hit. Chiefs minus 14, uh, 13 and a half, not a hit. Uh, we will come back to the Hill first TD bet in a minute. The Titans minus five and a half was not a hit. Um, they, that Browns game was freaking crazy. Uh, then we got Texans uh, to win. That was not a hit because of a fumble uh, by Watson in the game. Lions won because of that fumble I had mentioned earlier. Falcons were in it, had a shot, but did not take it away. So what ended up happening, let's talk about that Hill first TD bet. I put $15 down on the first TD being scored by Tyreek Hill in the Sunday night game. Tyreek Hill caught the first touchdown in the game. The problem was, it was an unbelievable catch. So unbelievable, he himself did not even think he made the catch. So no one reviewed it. It was ruled an incomplete pass. Didn't count as a TD. No one hit that bet. That was $95 I shouldn't have. I should have had that I didn't. Fortunately, the people at DraftKings were nice enough to say, you know what, you guys can get your bet back. So that $15 came back into my bank account. I added $5 to it. Played another first TD bet on Monday night with the Bills and the uh, Niners game. 10 on Diggs, that didn't hit on first TD, and 10 on Debo Samuels with a backup, that also didn't hit. So uh, that 20 down the drain, which leaves me at 152.43 going into week 14. Started last week at 180, ended up at 152.43, lost a little bit of change, still over 100, still marking uh, towards profit as we get towards the end of the season, but this is going to be a big week. Got to start making some headway, and I feel really good about some of the bets I've got coming up this week. So, before we get to my stuff, let's go see what the kid's got to say. Kid? All right, we're back at the bar with the kid. Not officially sponsored by Smittix, but we love Smittix. Anyway, uh, picks of the week, kid. You are 10 and 11 on this season. I hear you got a bunch of picks. What do you like? Okay, New York Giants, plus two and a half. Love it, kid. Minnesota, plus six and a half. Love it, kid. Washington, plus four. Okay. Pittsburgh, plus two. All Money right. Money in the bank, kid. Money in the bank, kid. That's it. Here we go, kid. Salud, okay, salud. kid. Salud. The best. All right, everyone. Those were the kids' picks. Okay, hello, kid. Thank you for those, kid. So, now... Time to do my picks of the week. Let's start off with the locks. Rock solid pick. Here's my rock solid pick of the week. 52 and a half, the over in the Vikings-Bucks game. I think we're going to surpass this. I really do. Uh, Bucks can score. Vikings can score. I love that 52 and a half is close to what I'm over 100, 52-43. Look for a little synergy whenever you can get it. So I'm going to put 52-43 on 52 and a half Vikings-Bucks. Next, I'm going to uh, look at some other picks here. Now, the people at DraftKings are nice enough to uh, have given a 20% boost on pretty much all NFL bets this weekend. So, uh, my odds are moving a little bit in my favor, so we'll talk about that as well. So, my next bet, I like, I'm going to put 25 down on the Texans minus one at Chicago. Uh, Texans are playing well. They should have won last week. I think they're going to play well again, uh, and Chicago's just not doing it for me right now. Um, so I'm going to take the Texans minus one, put 25 down, but with the 20%, um, the odds are moving to plus 108. So I really like what that payout's going to look like. Seattle minus 13 and a half against the Jets at home. Seattle is going to completely annihilate them. Uh, they're going to be throwing the ball all day, all over them. And honestly, the Jets had their opportunity to win. I don't think that Seattle is going to get 
beaten by two New York teams back-to-back weeks at home. I think Seattle comes out with a fire lit under them, and I think they go big against the Jets. Uh, and that 20% pushes that game up to a plus 110 on the 25% bet. Now, my Ravens, minus 2.5 against the Browns. $25 on that, plus 112 when all the math is done with the 20% boost. Here's the thing. The Ravens need this win. The Browns just secured a, a you know, a nine and at least a nine and seven season, over 500, a good shot at the playoffs. They have some other winnable games down the line. Baltimore just needs it more. So I'm going to go with the Ravens there. I think we are in good shape with the Ravens minus two and a half, putting 25 down on that. But I still have extra money left. What do I do? Dog of the week. My dog of the week is the New York Giants. Look, I'm only putting 15 down on them. The Giants are playing at home against an Arizona team coming from west to east who didn't play great last week against the Rams, and the Giants look fantastic against a very similar Seattle team. Uh, I like that they game plan for Seattle last week. I like what their defense did against Russell Wilson, and I think they have a real good shot to do the same thing against Kyler Murray. So I'm going to put 15 down on the Giants' money line just to win. The 20% boost gets it up to plus 148. Feeling good about that. And I still have $10, so... Parlay of the day. Parlay of the day time. Let's get a little nuts. $10 to win on these four teams combined. Titans, Colts, 49ers, Chargers. Titans, I think, are due for a bounce back against the Jags. The Colts, I... After seeing the Raiders against the Jets last week, I just don't see how the Colts don't win this game. The Colts are a better team. Uh, I'm not I'm not feeling the Raiders right now. 49ers at home against the Washington football team. Uh, I think the 49ers are a better team. They're just as defensively stout as Washington is, but I just think the 49ers find a way to pull it out. And I really like the Chargers at home against Atlanta. Uh, no Julio Jones for the Falcons. Um, I just feel like the Chargers can score, and they got embarrassed last week by the uh, Patriots, so I expect them to come out charging. See? See what I did there? Nice. Anyway, uh, those are my picks for the week. Let's see what the stat man's got to say about it. I'm a stat man! All right, stat man, how do you feel about that over Vikings Bucks? Over 52 and a half. Vikings Bucks. What about that Texans minus one? Basically a pick em, against the Bears in Chicago. Okay, Seattle minus just under two touchdowns against the Jets at home. Baltimore minus two and a half at Cleveland. What about my first place New York football Giants at home against the Arizona Cardinals? Should I be excited? Am I on something? Is this team actually going to make the playoffs? Ooh. And I know how much you hate parlays. But pick one. Pick a game. Give me a reason to feel moderately comfortable about what's going on. Anything you got. Anything. All right. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. As we get close to the end of the season and the end of our picks are near, the end of week 17 is going to show us how much we've made. At this point, we're down 40 something dollars on the year. <laughs> Haven't made anything. Uh, hoping to turn it around this week. Email us, puttinghismoney at gmail.com. Follow us at puttinghismoney on Instagram and the Twitters. Um, I think that's it. So uh, have a good week. I'm Silvestri, and uh, remember, gambling is for entertainment purposes only. And uh, I'm also putting my money where my mouth is. <laughs>